For Inventor 2021, you now have the ability with the AnyCAD utility to reference Revit models. In the past, you could only open Revit models and convert them to Inventor models. So what we're going to do, as you can see, I have an assembly started here. And I either can do a place or I can do pl place imported CAD files. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to toggle and change it to a Revit project. And then we're going to go to our file or location where that Revit project file is. Now, depending on the version of Revit this model was created with, you may be prompted saying, hey, you know, this is from an earlier version. But we're going to say we're going to open it anyway. We're not going to convert it. And as you can see, the AnyCAD interface kicks in. You have the ability to reference the model or convert the model. So the convert model is based on what it was prior to Inventor 2021. So in this case, we're going to leave it as a reference model. And as you can see, it's going through the conversion, generating all the required views that are from it, and so on. Once it goes through that process, I then have the ability to define what view I want to look at. So I can look at the building courtyard in regards to this model that was generated. And then I can select to hit OK to bring it or reference it into my model. Now, depending on the size of the Revit model, when you get to a certain point, as you can see, the 250 elements is kind of recommending, saying that, hey, this view contains so many elements, it's indicating that it could take some time. You can use it, or you can cancel to choose a different view if you know another view that may have less elements. In our case, we're just going to click OK to import it. Now it goes through the process of importing that model into our, our Inventor Assembly model, but again, it's only referencing. It's, you know, it's still leaving the Revit model intact. It's not converting it like it would in prior to Inventor 2021. And now I'm going to place the Revit model into my assembly by just picking a point where I want it on the screen. And I'm OK. And as you can see, I have my Revit model here. I can spin around it, zoom in on it, those type of things, just like a, you know, a normal Inventor model. Now, granted this video was, it was shortened to, to remove the time waiting for the import to happen. However, we're talking about, for this large model, we're talking about from the time I placed it into my Inventor model to about ready, it's, it was about seven minutes. So depending on the size of your Revit model, you know, it, there could be uh, some time for this to occur. Now, when my reference Revit model has been changed inside of my Inventor model, as you can see, there's lightning bolts indicating that the reference Revit model has been changed and now needs to be updated. So I'm going to click on the Update button. And it goes through the process of updating the ref reference Revit model to the latest information. Nice little feature added for Inventor 2021 to allow you to reference your Revit models into your Inventor assemblies. I would also recommend that you check out the Inventor 2021 help and review the best practice for working with Revit models through the AnyCAD interface.